Parachute by Chris Stapleton, uh, another cool song, another hit off of his album Traveler. He co-wrote the song along with Jim Beavers. The song uses key of G chord shapes, uh, but we need to down tune our guitars one half step to E flat standard tuning to be able to play along with the record. Uh, we've just got this one kind of driving strum pattern that's going to get us uh, through the whole thing. And then we'll also do a bonus tutorial that's a little more on the advanced side of what I was just playing in the introduction here. Um, that will let us kind of play some of those lead riffs for the intros and outros um, while we're still playing the chords on the acoustic guitar that would be perfect for a, a solo acoustic and vocal performance or something like that. On the electric guitar, we've got some cool lead work through the intros and outros. We've got some chords in the choruses and then a cool guitar solo. This is going to be a quick uh, bonus tutorial that's going to take that lead line that we hear in the intros and the outros uh, for Parachute. We're going to try and incorporate it into our chord progression uh, so that we can you know, play it with just one acoustic guitar and it will sound nice and full. This is a trick that I use all the time uh, when I'm doing solo acoustic gigs and it can really help make what you're playing a little bit more interesting and it's also just a great exercise uh, for us to go through as guitar players. Um, to try and work these kinds of things out. So what we're doing is taking the lead line All right, that's in the electric guitar lesson for the um, on the site here, and we're gonna turn it into this One more time Okay, so as you can hear, rather than doing single notes, we're trying to incorporate that single note melody um, and going back and forth between kind of picking that out, letting these other strings ring out while we're also making chords at the same time. Um, and once we get into it, you'll see that it's easier uh, than it looks. So the first thing we did was, instead of doing that, we have to realize when we're doing these kind of exercises and we're turning, uh, you know, it's easy to play. If you gotta uh, do that while you're playing chords, you have to give yourself the freedom to simplify things sometimes and to play them just a little bit differently here and there, but people will still recognize what you're doing. That's the goal. So instead of doing that, we're gonna go. Okay, that's a lot easier to do while we're playing chords. So the intro is open B string, third fret, and then we're doing an E minor chord. Then, so you see what I'm doing there? I'm playing all the strings here because I've got my E minor chord down. Third fret of high E, open high E, third fret of B, and then I'm moving to this. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over the acoustic guitar part. 
the studio version like we hear it on the recording. To start, we need to be in E flat standard tuning so that uh, standard E minor chord sounds like this. Uh, the first thing we'll go over are the chords. There's really one chord progression uh, that carries the song. There's a couple little variations that we'll talk about uh, for the bridge. You could play a standard E minor, a standard G, a standard D, and a standard C chord, and we'll include those chord diagrams beneath the video player. Uh, but as I listened to the recording and actually watched uh, some live videos, I was having trouble uh, figuring out which chord shapes Chris Stapleton was using, so I watched some live videos of him playing just solo acoustic and then also acoustic with his band on this song. And uh, looks to me like he was leaving this high E string off almost the whole time, doing E minor sevens like that, then G's like this, and D's and C twos. Okay, so this is the way we're gonna teach it. And that's open low E string, this is the E minor seven, second fret of A, second fret of D, open G, and the third fret of B. And by the way, this third fret of B will stay down the whole time, will be a nice little pivot for us as we're cycling through. Extra measure of C. In the chorus, one, two, three, go. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over all the electric guitar work for a parachute. Um, and we're just gonna start from the top in the order that we encounter these riffs and these song sections and just learn them in order. Uh, the whole song kind of builds on each other so it doesn't make as much sense to split this one up. Um, but we're gonna start with the intro and outro riff, then we'll learn the chorus chords, then we'll go over the bridge and the bridge solo. Uh, for tone, you just gotta kind of trust your ears on this one. Uh, I'm, I've got my pickup on the neck pickup for this. I've got a healthy dose of reverb, uh, some eighth note delay, something that sounds like this. That's uh, be one, two, three, four. back into the bridge solo, um, which I will teach you right now. Looks like this. Show an outro riff, which we'll do like the outro. One, two, three. 